here with the Penn State Plant Science Department to talk to you about very common nutrient deficiencies and toxicities that we see within plants both in the greenhouse and in the field. In front of me here, I have two plants. Um, one on this side is a pretty healthy green looking common bean plant. This plant on the other hand is small, yellow, and just not very happy looking. And that is because this plant is experiencing nitrogen deficiency. So nitrogen is important for almost everything in the plant. Um, it is critical for proteins, nucleic acids, amino acids, and so much other stuff within this plant. It is also really important for chlorophyll production, which is why when a plant is deficient in nitrogen, one of the first symptoms we might see is yellowing of the leaf tissue, as we see here. Another common symptom is stunting of the plant, and that is most likely the byproduct of the plant not being able to uh, synthesize the proteins that it needs to, uh, to build the plant or to support its growth. And so this plant is severely stunted compared to this much healthier common bean plant. Nitrogen is a mobile nutrient, and so uh, within the plant, some nitrogen that has been uh, used to grow uh, leaves earlier in its development uh, that the plant can translocate that nitrogen to newer growth. And so a lot of nitrogen deficiency symptoms we might see uh, are most likely to manifest on those older leaves. As nitrogen continues to leave the, those leaves into the newer tissues, a lot of these older leaves will wither up and die and, and fall off and, as leaf litter. Now, nitrogen um, is more likely to be deficient in various environments. So in a field setting where the soil has a higher sand content, nitrogen is uh, more easily leaches through that soil profile. Um, so it is much more difficult for the plant to capture the nitrogen that it needs to sustain its growth. But these plants are also special as legumes. So legumes are able to fix their own nitrogen and to supplement nitrogen that is already available in the soil. Nitrogen fixation occurs within the root system in these structures called nodules, which contain bacteria that fix atmospheric nitrogen into ammonia, which uh, is then used by the plant uh, to uh, sustain its proper function and development. That's all about nitrogen for now. Thanks for tuning in.